it's been a year since you died. I'm not, I'm not good at this. I'm not great at talking about things like this, especially with people like you, and I wish I knew what to say. I think we all wish there was something we could say to make it better, but there isn't. I don't believe you're gone. I don't believe that you're just not here. I don't believe that you lived all those years. You, you inspired and you, you, you really just made everything out of your life and I don't believe that now that there's not a heart beating inside of your body that you're just gone. That seems unfair. And maybe that's why people come up with ways that you're still here. Because it's not fair to you or to us who loved you for you to just be gone. <laughs> um, that being said, I don't know where you are. I don't know if you're above or if you're reincarnation or if you're right here next to me. I don't know because I'm not you. I'm not where you are now and I'm not I'm not dead. I watched your tribute episode today. <laughs> I thought that maybe watching it and watching people being able to mourn about you would help me to remember you but it made me miss you more and I think those two things expanded from each other since you died and I learned that expansion between missing you and remembering you because they're so different. Missing you was waking up this morning I let a couple tears fall <laughs> and watching your tribute episode and bawling my eyes out. That's missing you. Remembering you was watching the pilot episode, was listening to your cover of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, which is my favorite song of all time. Not the original. I think the original is annoying, but your take on it. I don't know. You made it special. I watched Grilled Cheeses today too. <laughs> I always thought it was the stupidest. Not the stupidest, because, you know, there's importance in it, but uh, I just thought it was so silly and now it's one of my favorites because you made it important, you made it special, and it's weird. It's really weird, actually, how something that I thought was silly before now has so much meaning and has so much importance because you gave it importance. You gave it importance and I gave you importance, so by this vicarious transitive property, it's now important and it's weird how it wasn't before you died and you, you gave all these things life. I think that's remembering you, remembering all the ways that you were able to give us life. You definitely gave me life, Corey. You, I mean, if it weren't for you, there'd be no glee. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have wanted to watch it, you were, you made me want to care, Corey. That was something I didn't think could happen. I didn't think I had the capability of doing that until I saw how passionate you were about acting, about singing, about 
being there for your friends and your fans and Leah and I guess the year gave us a chance to remember you. I still I still see pictures of you wherever they may be and I still cry um, because I do miss you and I hope oh my god I hope that I continue to remember and miss you equally. I have this fear whenever somebody whenever somebody dies that I'll forget them. I just didn't know you and I don't think anybody did because I think if we did you'd still be here. And I think what a lot of people are doing is is wishing they had done something but it's nobody's fault. It's it's an illness. It's a it's a part of your life, and I know it would have happened regardless of what your surroundings were. And I'm just so sorry that it had to be you. Not that I would wish that on anybody else. Neither would you. I know your kind heart wouldn't, but. I just wish it wasn't you. I remember, <laughs> I remember where I was when I found out what happened. Um, it was really early in the morning. I was at my mom's apartment and my sister woke me up and said, Tay, the, the guy from Glee died. And I thought, that she was making fun of me, or she was playing a joke on me, like, no he didn't. I thought, the, the night before I was talking about um, Darren Chris, and we had this whole conversation about him, so I was like, stop it, like, Darren didn't die. Um, no, Corey, it was, it was Corey who died. So I, you know, sprung out of bed and went to my laptop to check Twitter, and text a couple of friends of mine who are fans of the show and fans of you. It was true. And I, you know, bawled my eyes out and, and, and really, really had a hard time with it. And then I, you know, pulled myself together and my mom was like, let's go out for breakfast. I remember we were halfway there. It was, it's just around the corner. We were halfway there and I don't remember what it was, probably don't know what it was at the time, something set me off and I just, I was screaming and crying and my mom was, my mom drove me home, she went up to breakfast with my sister without me, she just drove me home, she's like, she was mad at me, she didn't understand that, I didn't understand, nobody can understand because nobody, there's no, there's no comprehending the situation, that you're not here. You're not with us. Even though you're you're somewhere. I truly believe you're somewhere out there. But I remember I just sat on my couch alone because, you know, family went up to breakfast and kicked me out of that because I was in hysterics. And I just sat and cried. And I know that's not what you want to hear. And I know that's not how you wanted it to be. And you wouldn't want us, God, you would not want us to be as emotional and sad and you wouldn't want us to mourn the way that we have, but we are. And I'm so sorry that you had to leave a world that's so emotionally unstable that we can't give you that. I try, I try really hard to smile and, and remember the way you used to smile and laugh and when you sang it was beautiful and I try to remember that I try to remember you and I try not to miss you because you're you're somewhere near us I don't know where your spirit lives in your friends and your cast members and your family and your 
Glee family that I mean I consider you and the rest of them family so we live with your spirit in us and I promise no I don't promise because I'll break it I'll try my best not to cry as much and to smile because you deserve people to smile when they think of you and that's the life that you should leave is people thinking of you and thinking of all the great things that you did. So it's been a year. It's been a pretty rough year for those who loved you like I know I did and I just hope wherever you are you're resting peacefully.